Hey folks, welcome back to the mountain. I'm Tony from Gagnon's Mountain Homestead. Uh, today we got another project to get started on. We got one of these metal carports and it goes straight through. And the issue we have is the snow collects here in the back. So what we want to do, we want to build a wall along the back of it. So we're going to show you how we're going to do that now. So of course, the first thing you're going to do when you're going to do a project like this, we got to figure out what we're going to make the wall out of. Now, the simplest thing is just take a big tarp and run it over the back. That would work. It would keep the snow out, but we want something a little more substantial. And since we have a sawmill in our own lumber yard here on the property, we're going to go ahead and build it out of wood. I'm going to frame it up with some 4x4s, and then we're just going to run 2x4s uh, and 2x6s across and then one inch boards up and down, just like we build everything else around here. You saw us build the barn, the bunny bunker, the woodshed. We're gonna do this wall the same way. And it's gonna be awesome. So let's get started. <sighs> got a little chilly out, had to get my hat and my gloves on. So we got most of the stuff cleared out of the way. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna kinda, come across here, along the front here, just to make sure it's smoothed out a little bit. And kind of get our line here. Everything is frozen. There may be a little adjustments done in the spring, who knows. But for now, right across here, like two. So. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure out the distance and we're going to put maybe, I don't know, three or four, probably just three, four by fours up along here. Maybe one along each end. We'll see. I could just do one in the middle. I don't even know yet. That's how I build things. You know this about me. So I want to say this thing's about 20 feet in diameter. And sure enough, she's right at just over 20 feet. So at the 10 foot mark in the middle, I want to get my tape measure lower. Middle. We're gonna mark that, it's right there. We're not being perfectly even. We're close, so right here is my 10 foot mark. So I want to put a brick or a block there to put a 4x4 four four post on. And I happen to have a few bricks right over here off to the side. So we're gonna put a four by we're gonna put a brick there. We're gonna set that on. Now next then we're gonna have to measure to see how tall we want our 4x4 four four posts. And I think we're gonna put it right in the middle of that brace right there. And that should hold everything good. All right, now we have our ladder. We can measure how tall we need our 4x4 four four to be. Go right to the brick. 100, 103 and a half. All right, so next, well, we need our saw and everything, so why don't we get that set up too? Remember, we're using rough cut, so I gotta square up both ends. <sighs> so we measure that at 103 and a half. Right out there. Okay. 
All right, folks, there we go. She's plumb, she's straight. So we have the one in the middle. We're gonna put one on that end and one on this end here. So we're gonna measure for those, we'll cut them and we'll put them in. So we're gonna square up this end first, like always. Wasn't a whole lot of play with that one. That's good. All right, we have our three uprights in place, there, there, and there. And I have some uh, self-tapping screws left over from uh, doing the barn build and the bunny bunker. These here, as you can see, those self-tappers, is it gonna focus for you? Probably not. But anyway, I drove them up into the metal just to keep those from going side to side. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put our cross pieces on. I'm gonna do two by sixes up top and then two by four and two by four in the middle and the bottom rows. So let's get going on those. And I'm gonna go down to probably right about here. We'll do 10 foot two inches and get it up as high as we can in the corner. So let's do that, 10 foot two inches. That's about right, right there. Looks good. Nail it. go so now we're going to measure for the middle piece here we're going to go across in the middle and then one on the bottom and that's how we're going to attach our uh, boards I'm just going to measure the distance between these two and put it right in the middle we're right around 80 so we'll put it at 40 Minus two, so 38 is where I'll put the bottom of it. 38, right there. Okay, let's try that. Whoa, come on, you. Stay on there. All right. Right to the wall. So if we do like 123 minus the two to go in the middle of that four by four. So 121. We'll bring it right in there. So let's go ahead and cut one at 121. It's gonna be a two by four now. Remember, squaring up both ends, because you know, rough cut. So now I'm going to do, I'm going to put a screw in this middle one, and I know I said 40 over, but we're going to um, just keep it level. So actually I'm going to put a screw in the end one, and we're just going to keep it level. And you can see with this ice on the 2x4 even. It's cold out! It's cold! 
So I'm going to set that right there. Put that about in the middle. I'm going to take my level. So my line's right there. And that's not quite level, as you can see. But I want this as level as I can. I'm going to put that right about there. I'm going to go over and nail this side. And there's the framing of the wall. It's done, as you know. So we know it's not completely level with the ground. Well, it's level to the ground, but it's not level to the building because the building's a little off. Because it's not a building, it's just a carport. And we went ahead and we're making it level to the ground and not to the building because we want to add shelves on the inside. And we want things to be level to the wall, not to the building. So that's why we've done that. So there's the framing. We're doing it the same way we've done a lot of things around here. And uh, we'll get to the boards on the next exciting video. So folks, that's gonna do it for today. Once again, we got the framing done. We'll do the boards in the next couple days. will be the next video. You'll get to see that. It'll close this side in. Well, I wanna put a light in there too, because that's where we parked the tractor and a bunch of other things like our amazing chicken plucker right there. Yeah, go watch that video, it's awesome. So that's going to be it from the mountain today, folks. You guys know what to do. You know to subscribe and tell everybody. Give us a thumbs up. And as always, folks, God bless. It's cold out. It's cold.